Sí, familias. This week, we talk about music beefs. There has so much things going on recently with artists. I don't know if it's the cold or what, but beefs galore. First off, Rihanna versus The Price. This is an ongoing battle that they need to realize that they never will win because her cup of care is empty in true Pisces female style. We have no care in our cups. The one day that she probably had care in her cup, she probably would say, oh my God, they don't like it work. They don't understand it. And then Melissa or someone was just like, girl, get your life together. This is a good song. It at number one. No one cares about them. And she was like, that's how it goes with me and my friends. I have breakdowns and then I remember. I don't care about them. I don't care about them. Next up. Nina Simone versus the directors of the Nina Simone movie. Because it could seem like if it's against Zoe Saldana, but she really doesn't have anything to do with it. So basic rundown, Zoe Saldana, who played in Colombiana and Avatar, but she was blue. Well, so she's been casted to play Nina Simone in a biopic. Nina Simone, for who you don't know, is like, she's an old female jazz artist from back in the day who, you know, paved the way for black people, so on and so forth. So they don't want her to play it because she is half Dominican and half Puerto Rican or something like that. And they're saying, she's not a black, it's about the black struggle, blah, blah, blah. So I was defending Zoe, because I'm like, she didn't cast herself. And then on top of that, I'm black, I can't play Nina Simone, so that shouldn't be our argument because I look more to, like Zoe Saldana than Nina Simone. And I'm black. Then I saw the director. And she is white. I'm really old. Oh, she lost. She lost. Does it complain about like the black face? Which is painting your face brown or to represent a black person, which is very offensive for obvious reasons. I was like, mm, they no hope for you. Or your movie. However, this is great publicity for the movie that probably not many people were ever going to watch in life. They won't go make no money. You won't go make no money. And now you make some money. B3. Kanye versus the world. <laughs> Look, listen. I don't know if he's going through like a midlife crisis. How old is he? Is he midlife crisis? Age? I love Kanye at all. And it's getting really hard to defend him. I have to say, making it kind of difficult on the girl. It's not like a cycle, it's like every minute he tweeting something, he tweeted against ways telling man that he owned his child, bro, 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 bro. But you can't do that in the Caribbean. You can imagine if Beanie Man tell Bounty Killer that he owned his child. It's like Kanye against Wiz, Kanye against Amber, Kanye against Puma when Kylie wanted to, well, when Puma offered Kylie a million dollar deal to sign with them as an ambassador, and he was like, no, she's got to be with the deep dust. And I'm like, I don't care you. Are you? Puma don't need you anyway. They have three. <laughs> okay, yeah, against the fans. The fans want to hear the music. He's like, you gotta, you gotta download title. We don't want to download title. He's serious about this title thing? Nah, fam. Ain't nobody downloading title for you album. Like, that's just, you rude, you rude. His new child is really, really cute though, Saint West. Cute as hell. But still, this is the point in time. If this was a movie, there's a time where Cicely Tyson would come in. <laughs> Ooh, Cicely Tyson would come in and be like, what, what would your mama think about all of this boy? And then Kanye would break into tears and like, Mama, I'ma be good, I'ma be better. Speaking of cute children and Kanye, Amber Rose, everyone started to love Amber Rose. I mean, even I did. I was like, you know, at first I was just like, oh, she's hilarious. I think she's really funny because I follow her on IG. But no, people are really like saying, oh, well, you know, she has a voice. I actually heard her actual voice for the first time. You know, like some people 
you just don't think of them talking to you. But she made a lot of sense. And I was like, yeah, Amber, come true with the women's rights. But she went too far. She involved Beyonce. She's like, why Beyonce doesn't get slut shamed? Is it because she can sing and her and Kim can't sing? The Beehive have come for Amber. She's like, how can you, how can you be behaving me when I'm a part of the beehive? Not no more, amps. Not no more. They don't like you no more. I don't know who's with me on this Southern American accent today, but I'm quite enjoying it. Leading on from women's rights, we have to talk about Kesha. This is a very serious issue. Who is going to lie about molestation or rape? I think people are yet to realize that. We don't lie about those things. No one tries to exit their music deal, which they still have albums on, by making it a rape story, or a molestation story, or a sexual harassment story. How do you mean that she doesn't have enough evidence? Basically, she is claiming that her producer, Dr. Luke, from Sony Music, has been sexually harassing her from molesting her from the time she was a teenager. And so a lot of artists are supporting her like Adele and Taylor Swift and people are coming out. Sony needs to fire him. I don't know. My favorite beef ball. <laughs> so favorite, like if I'm glad that these people are destroying each other's lives. SK versus Mo. This is the most hilarious and nonsensical beef. I have probably ever seen. So let me give you a rundown for all of my B agents out there. Wanna know what age? Bubble pump me and let me kill with it. Kill with it. Bubble pump me and let me kill with it. Kill it with it. I'm a killer with it. Ish, ish, ish. Kill with it. Ish, ish. I'm doing it on the table. Cause pie and chicken is my favorite dish. Pie and chicken is my favorite dish. For reference. So Mo, who is popular for singing last year's crop over song. <laughs> you baby before you left for you brought your RT before you left for you got other songs man other songs that I can't remember right now pretty sure he's sing that song but the late song but he'll get dark I'm not sure and if he does not whoever does sing it don't get back to me I want a beef I would die you though I would die you though but I want to be flip you cool be cool. Anyway, but Mo sing this song ish. SK was promoting this this event named Bikini Bottom. Yeah, and he sang something on the rhythm. People like the promo. I like the promo. I was like, this this is great. I'm gonna go to Bikini Bottom. It's like, come on, girls, we're going to Bikini Bottom. So SK come up with the old song on the rhythm. Ish for me now. Ish for me now. Ish for me now. Uh -huh. I thought, oh, how great. How complimentary. Look at these artists working together in the industry. I feel as though this song is making the Ish song even more popular because obviously then they can play together. People can do the dance tub of songs. What's the problem? It's not like if you are Billboard Top 20 boss man. Granted that the person who you get the, the beat from must be on the Billboard Top 20. I don't What? What? Okay. So anyway, he bring out this diss for SK. Talking about how he look like. What's he saying? He look like a giraffe? A giraffe? A goat? A goat. He said he looked like a goat. Anyway, it was not very well constructed if you ask me. It seems like if he was very angry a day, he went in the studio and he recorded this song. It, it wasn't done with, you know, the skill. But then SK come back with a diss, like hours later. Oh my goodness, my heart, my soul. So that man look, he's who to look like a giraffe. He said he look like a giraffe. My somebody to look like a giraffe and had me dying. So that Lady Essence can't go to the beach because the fisherman will feel she's a whale. That is awful. But, but, them come for him. They came for him. And you know what is the stupidest thing of all? 
this is gonna only encourage more people to go to bikini bosses. I am actually pretending to be a, a teenage Caucasian American now. What are you doing, man? I have a skateboard. What are you doing, Mo? Mo, man, Mo. What are you doing, man?